Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Ten: The Passive. Passive forms of the simple tenses. Past simple. Affirmative and negative sentence. See the structure. Subject, and we get it from the object of the active sentence. Then we place the be verb. If it is single, the subject is single. Put was. If plural, then we put where. The past participle form of the transitive verb. The preposition by. And finally, the object. See the examples. They played football every day. This is the subject. This is the transitive verb. And football is the object of this transitive verb. If we ask they play what, then we find this answer football. And the sentence is in the affirmative form. Let's see the passive form. The object becomes the subject here, football, and it is single, so we place was. And after that, we place the transitive verb, and it is in the past participle form, played. Then preposition by and the object, and we get it from the active sentence. The subject becomes the object here. Football was played by them every day. Another example: We did not buy books yesterday. It's a negative sentence in the past simple, and the passive form is. Books were not bought by us yesterday. Books was the object here, and now it becomes the subject in the passive form. And since it is plural, we put were to make negative than not, and the past participle form of the verb buy next preposition, and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object here us. Books were not bought by us yesterday. Past simple interrogative sentence. In the interrogative sentence, we place the be verb first. If the subject is single, then we place was, and if it is plural, then where. And the subject, the object of the active sentence, becomes the subject here. Then the past participle form of the transitive verb. Next, the preposition by, and the object, and we get it from the subject of active sentence. See the examples. Did they play football yesterday? It is an interrogative sentence in the past simple. To make this active sentence into passive, we change this interrogative sentence into a statement. They played football yesterday. Here we get the subject, then the verb in the past simple, and the object here, and it is affirmative. I mean a statement in the past simple. Now we change this active sentence into passive. Football was played by them yesterday. This object becomes the subject here. The subject is singular, so we place was. And after that, the transitive verb in the past participle form. Next, the preposition by, and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object here. Them. Still, this sentence is in the affirmative form, so we have to make it an interrogative sentence. We place the auxiliary verb or the be verb before the subject and just it. We make it a question or an interrogative sentence. Was football played by them yesterday? It is an interrogative sentence in the passive form. Did not Ali bring books to the class? This is an interrogative sentence in the negative. So first we change this interrogative sentence into a statement. Ali did not bring books to the class. It is in the negative as a statement. Now we make this active sentence into passive. Books were not brought by Ali to the class. The object books becomes the subject here. Books are plural, so we place were and to make negative not. And after that, the past participle form of bring it is brought. Then the preposition by and the subject of an active sentence becomes the object here. It is Ali. Still, this sentence as a statement in the negative form. Now we make it an interrogative sentence. Were not books brought by Ali to the class? We just place the be verb or the helping verb before the subject, and just it. We make this active sentence into passive in an interrogative form.